Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Nanam Paramam Dheyam. Knowledge is supreme. Continue our study with uh, Gilbert Samuel polynomials and its connection with the dimension. So, let us recall what we did uh, in the last two lectures. So, uh, we had a graded ring R. M. and a graded module over R so when you do it for the ring you are you have a positive non negative grading n grading and for a module it is z grading and we are assuming that m is finitely generated m is finite r module Uh, which is equivalent to saying that it can have only finitely many negative components and all modules uh, all homogeneous components are modules over R0 so R0 modules mm are finitely generated these are our assumptions and also we assume that um, this R0 is Artinian ring um, the, the simplest way to think is that is equivalent to saying R is R naught is Noetherian and every prime ideal is maximum. This simply means the dimension of R naught, full dimension of R naught is 0. So, in this situation we have considered this function. So, that is the function from z or n to n namely any m goes to length of m m as a r naught model this length is finite because we are assuming uh, m m's are artinian r naught models and to this we have associated a series which we call it poincare series that is p so it depends on m and I want to also write that variable z. So, this is by definition this sum is running over m it is length of m m this is the coefficient of z power m. Uh, remember that uh, when I did um, in the one more earlier lecture that I had instead of length I have used a dimension that is, that is because I was assuming that time this R naught is actually a field and what we proved is um, this has a special form 
if you assume r is now assume r is a standard graded r not algebra this simply means r as a r not algebra generated by finitely many elements and each element all these exercises are homogeneous of component homogeneous degree 1 so that is r1 and in this case what we proved is this poincare series of m is of the form First, let us write it for R. So, it's of the form some Laurent polynomial Q M divided by one minus z power n plus one, where Q M is a Laurent polynomial. So, that is a Q z. Z power plus minus, and we are we are discussing about the the degree. So first, let me now make it more clear. So when one says somebody is a function, so recall in general, if you have a function, numerical function, f from Z to Q. such a function is called a numerical function uh we will say that um this is a polynomial function is called a polynomial function if there exists a polynomial gx or with rational coefficients such that f of n equal to g of n or large n large n means there is so this means there exists n not with this equality holds for all n bigger equal to n not so first note that such a polynomial g must be unique because if there are two polynomials which satisfy the same equality then those two polynomials agree on many rational numbers infinitely many rational numbers and therefore they have to be equal so note that such a g such a polynomial g with the rational coefficients is unique so therefore in this case the coefficient leading coefficient of g i will keep calling this is to be the leading coefficient of the function f so this is leading coefficient of of f this is the definition of a leading coefficient of f similarly the degree of g this is degree of f so for a numerical function which are polynomial functions we have defined this leading coefficient and the degree of the okay and also we will we will uh, use a convention here degree of a zero polynomial degree of zero polynomial to be equal to minus 1 this is a convention a degree a degree of a pol zero polynomial is not defined but okay 
Now, how do we decide some numerical function is a polynomial function or not? So, for that you define a new function, this is something like a derivative. So, the new for a for a for a numerical function f define uh, d f this is also new map from z to q which is defined by any n goes to f of n minus f of minus n n minus 1. So, this is a new function and then now in simple lemma we will prove So, f is a numerical function and r is a non negative integer, then f is a polynomial function of degree. less equal to r if and only if d f is a polynomial function of degree 1 less. So, first we are proving this. Uh, this is pretty clear because see look at df, df at n is by definition f of n minus f of n minus 1. So, if f is a polynomial function, the leading coefficient of this right hand side is the same and the degree is same. So, we will get the leading coefficient will get cancelled. So, for large n this is the difference of two polynomials of the same degree and same leading coefficient. So, it is clear that d f is polynomial function of degree less equal to r minus 1 because we are assuming f is of polynomial function of degree r uh, less equal to r. Okay. So, conversely this way we are putting the assertion by induction on r. So, we have now given that d f is a polynomial function of degree r minus 1 and we want to prove f is a polynomial function of degree less equal to r. Okay. Uh, so, if r is 0, r 0 means this d f is a polynomial function of degree less equal to minus 1. So, that only means that d f is a 0 polynomial that means d f so, this means d f evaluated at n is 0 for large n. So, this means that f n minus f of n minus 1 is 0 for large n, but that means f n is actually constant, f n is constant for large n. That simply means that constant. So, f therefore, f is a polynomial function and because it is constant degree is less equal to 1. So, that implies f is a polynomial less equal to 1. So, that proves the assertion for r equal to 0. Now, assume that uh, we have I assume r is bigger than 0 and d f is a polynomial function for d of degree less equal to r minus 1. So, d f will agree to some polynomial g for large n where g is a polynomial with rational coefficients 
ए जीरो एक्स पावर आर माइनस वन प्लस 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 ए आर माइनस वन दीज आर रैशन क्वेश्चन डिग्री ऑफ जी इज लेस इक्वल टू आर माइनस वन ओके नाउ जस्ट फ्रॉम हियर व्हाट इज एफ ऑफ एन माइनस जी ऑफ माइनस एफ ऑफ एन माइनस वन जी ऑफ एन which is what i am going to do is um, just take a not divided by r n power r minus n minus 1 power r if i take this plus hn so whatever the remaining Uh, terms are I club with H n, where H x, where H x is a polynomial, is also in Q x, and the degree of H x is smaller equal to R minus two, because I have taken the top degree terms here. Okay, because this n power when you expand this this term this term by binomial n power r will get cancelled and there will be r here and then that so therefore h x is a polynomial of degree less equal to r minus one so now you define f prime this is a new function from z to q define By f prime at n equal to um, f n minus a zero by r times n power r. So this precisely tells us that d of f prime at n is that remaining residue that is h n h n. For large, and because degree of h, degree of h is smaller equal to r minus two. This d f prime is a polynomial function of degree smaller equal to r minus two. Therefore, by induction hypothesis, f prime is a polynomial function. Of degree less equal to r minus one, and you shifting this term to the other side, you get then f is a polynomial function of degree less equal to r. So that proves uh, the lemma. So Recall that we have proved that if you take uh, uh, if you take this uh, Poincaré series, it's a rational function of the special type, and the coefficients then the coefficients. So uh, so let's write it. So so let me write it as a corollary. This P M. P R, let us P R Z. This is like definition was. This is F N T power N, uh, not T Z power N M M. And F M was the length. Length of the R non module R M. So this this F F M then F M is a polynomial function of 
of degree less equal to n minus 1 and remember this n was what this n was the number of the number of R naught algebra generators of R that was that that is n minus 1. So, proof just note that the formula if if you have R positive then uh, that remember this we have written in the form q by 1 minus z power r ah, i forgot something i forgot that when we have a rational function like that if if a numerator also has uh, at 1 equal to q at 1 is 0 then we cancel the 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 uh, numerator this 1 minus z part there and below also so we have this now below is r and this r has to be less equal to n minus 1 n n r has to be less equal to n so note that this is equal to summation d this f f at n this one z power m so therefore by induction uh, the assertion follows by induction by using the earlier observation so use induction with earlier lemma so just let me note formally what we have proved we have proved the following theorem so r is a graded r is a graded ring n graded and with r not artinian and m is graded finitely generated r module and r is standard graded means r is r not and generated by few elements x1 to xn a degree xi is r 1 then uh, what we call it h h m h m this h m think of this is a function from z q any m going to uh, length of as a r naught module of m m this is a polynomial function of degree less equal to n minus 1 where n is this number of R naught algebra generators of this. This polynomial, so there is a unique polynomial associated to this, this numerical function and that polynomial is usually called Hilbert Samuel polynomial of
polynomial of m. So, that is a polynomial associated to this polynomial function and uh, so, this polynomial has a degree and leading coefficient. So, these two invariants, uh, the degree we I will we are preparing to prove that the degree of this polynomial is actually the cruel dimension of the module, and when the module is R, then it is the cruel dimension of the ring. That is what we want to prove. 